Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today I'm going to be making my own system and the theme of this system is going to be chips. I think I want a yellow main sequence so we can do Alpha Centauri A. Let's start with this, let's check the stats on this. A little bit bigger than the sun, yeah we can work with this. Alright, what are we going to name it? We're going to name it Frito-Lay because that's like the main chip brand. Like it is all the other brands are in that. And let's, that's a pretty good color. We could make it a little more... I don't know. We'll just keep it. All right. First planet. I think I'm going to want to put something closer. I want this one to be on fire. We're going to name this one. This one's going to be Spicy Cheetos. So we want Spicy Cheetos on fire, obviously. And we are going to want the colors on this. That does look like a Spicy Cheeto. Maybe a little bit more red. Oh yeah, spicy Cheeto for sure. What's the size on this thing? That's a pretty big inner planet. Let's turn it down a little bit. You can see the temperature's rising. Um, I'm debating whether or not we tidally lock it, so half of it's really hot and half it's not. Check it out. Oh, I think it already could be tidally locked. Let's see. Not tidally locked, but pretty close. Oh yeah, see now we're getting these molten effects. This is what we wanted. Because that's now it's a really spicy Cheeto. Um, I hope that doesn't fragment too much. We might have to move it a little bit away. Move it out here. So it can survive. Alright, next planet. This one we also want to be hot, but not super hot. So for this one, let's do... Let's see. We're going to name this one Spicy Nacho Cheese Doritos. Because obviously... They aren't as hot. Also, on the spicy Cheetos, let's change the interface color to have more of... There we go. And on the spicy... Oh, this orbit is back. Let's fix that. Actually, I kind of like how it, they interlap like that. So let's change the spicy nacho cheese Doritos. Um, yeah, water, definitely not. Get out of here. Let's zoom in on this so we can take a look. Why does that have to look so beautiful? I don't want to destroy it. Silicate, yeah, 100% silicate for this baby. And then the atmosphere, no, zero. Um, they have that like texture on them. You know how Doritos are. So let's give them the orangeness. That contrast is definitely too high. Let's turn this down. Um, it's gotta be a more red cause it's just a spicy one. Oh yeah, that's a good color. That's too... Oh, that looks like a... That's a good color. Um, it's got like that corn part to it. Let's check this. Well, this definitely not that high. Let's say about right here. That looks pretty cheesy. Like if you licked it, you would taste it. I don't know why people say the moon's made of cheese. This is what a cheese planet would look like. For sure. And I want to see if this heats up over time like I want it to. Oh yeah, it definitely is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it must be tidally locked. Or almost tidally locked, for sure. That's about to start heating up. Alright, we'll leave that. That's pretty good. So now we got spicy Cheetos and spicy nacho cheese Doritos. Now we're definitely going to get some more temperate chips, if you know what I mean. Out around here. We're going to get the classic... Pringle. Just a Pringle. No flavor on this Pringle. This is a, a raw Pringle. What does a Pringle look like? Pull up a picture of a Pringle. It needs more orange in it, I believe. It's gotta look almost cheesy, but not like corn or potato. Yeah, they're made of potatoes, that's right. Um, and for this one, I want it bigger. Let's go two Earths in size. And I want to give it some moons. We'll give it... Change the... Interface color. Okay, we got our Pringle here. And now we're going to add a moon to it. Let's go random moon. Let's see the size on this thing. We'll go around here. And this moon is going to be called, bar oh, that almost looks like barbecue already. And we're going to call it barbecue Pringle. We'll just barbecue. And it's the, the, it represents the barbecue flavor of a Pringle. 
We definitely want this interface color to be the color of a barbecue, which is like dark brown. I kind of like these colors already. Um, maybe this one can be more of a brown. And this one a little more brown. I kind of like the lighterness of it though. Or yeah, let's go black on that. Yeah, okay, that's our barbecue one. And then we also want a, definitely a sour cream and onion one. And this one, we're gonna go almost a vertical orbit. I don't know why, because it encompasses the entire thing. Um, okay, sour cream and onion for this baby. Sour, oh, that's sorry. All right, so it's gotta have like that yellowness, but also it's gotta have the green because you know, sour cream and onion Pringles are green. So let's give it like a lime green interface color. Yeah, that's good. And the surface colors. I think I want most of them yellow and then have like just one of them be green. Oh yeah, like that. All right, let's do it. Yeah, sour cream and onion. All right, and let's do one more moon. We're gonna do pizza flavor because why not? This one's gotta be the massivest moon you'll ever see. If this is double the size of the Earth, or Pringle, we're going to make this one double the size of the moon. So this is a pretty massive moon we got here, and this one's called PIZZA in all caps because we're that enthusiastic about that. Uh, let's zoom in on this, see what we got here. Okay, pizzas, it's got to have the red pepperoniness to it, but it's also got to have the orangeness. I think we want this low to be, oh yeah, that'll be the pepperoniness, and then this is like the main pizza color. More, I need it like cheesier. Let's get it more orange. There we go. Turn the contrast. Uh, about right there. So yeah, those. that's the pepperoni on it. That's what it represents. All right, there's our pizza moon. And that'll be good for the Pringle mini system. Next. I think we're going to throw in our first gas giant here. And this gas giant. This one's going to be named Lay's. Um, and it's got to have that chippy color. But also we could throw in some bands representing the different flavors instead of moons on this one. Alright, so let's get like a default Lay's color. You know like a Lay's chip, just the default potato chip. And then we can throw in the different colors on here representing the different flavors. So here's our Lay's baseline and I want to throw in some more layers actually. All right, so here's our lace chip. That one looks a little green. So actually, let's keep this one. This is going to be the sour cream and onion one for you. And I want a space between each one. Um, we definitely need a barbecue one, so let's get a browner color in there. So that's going to represent the barbecue. Um, what other flavors are there? There's the salt and vinegar, which is like a blue bag, isn't it? So that'll be you. Get a space between. And then what else? They have those spicy ones that are red. So let's do those. They're like a dark red too. Do that. And they also have the other light blue one. What's that one? Lightly salted. This one's a lighter blue though. And then we'll keep one in for the classic. And we'll add another one. There's the cheddar one. So we'll add orange for that. All right. So here's our Lay's planet. That's looking kind of weird, but we love it just the way it is. I definitely think it needs at least one moon. Let's do a random moon. This is gonna be the kettle cooked moon because of the kettle cooked chips. And kettle cooked has gotta look uh, vibrant. I actually have an idea for this one. I'm gonna throw an atmosphere on it and then color the entire atmosphere. So let's change the interface color on this one to you know, kettle cooked, whatever, orange. And the Lay's chips, we're gonna give it a red one because it goes through that middle line on there. But then back to the kettle cooked, I want this atmosphere, let's zoom in here, to be thick. We want this to be, represent like it in the oven, you know, like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, kettle cooked, perfect. We got Lay's and kettle cooked. Next planet we're going to do, I think we need like a random highly elliptical asteroid 
but we'll do a I kind of want it bigger like a dwarf planet almost so let's do a this and then I want it to be a lot more elliptical and this one is actually going to be Fritos because I feel like Fritos is more of a wild card chip I do like how that looks all right there we go get some highly elliptical We'll do it like that. So this is coming out pretty far, and it gets pretty close within the the Lay's orbit. Um, and we got a Fritos. Let's change the interface color. Fritos. I do like how this looks, but I want to change. We'll do that. We'll keep the water. I don't know why. It just looks cool. Right. So there's our Fritos. Let's actually take a look at the actual object. Uh, yeah, that's looking cute. All right, I actually want to do another gas giant, and this one's going to be cold. It's going to be ice giant. Let's throw it. We'll do random gas giant, and we'll put it pretty far out. This one's going to be cool ranch Doritos. That's why it's ice giant, because it's cool. And these bands, we've got to get the, the bluish hues in there. So let's do our baseline. This is um, this yellow color. And then let's get some more blueness in there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let's change the interface color also to give it blue. It's hard to see all the way out here, but there it is. There's our Cool Ranch Doritos planet. And I actually want to give this one a moon and we're going to name the moon 3D because of the weird 3D Cool Ranch Doritos that nobody ever eats. We're just going to call it 3D. Um, this one's gonna be all blue. There we go. And we gotta give this interface color a very, very dark, vibrant blue. That's not very vibrant. Brighter. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Getting some better. Alright, there is the Frito-Lay system. If you have any ideas for themes for another system, leave them down in the comments. And if it's good, I'll make it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe and turn on notifications to see all my newest videos. Thanks for watching and thank goodbye.